This one is going to be a weird one. For starters, someone seems to have installed screaming goats into my bus. I see, I seem to have two passengers in the bus and they weren't invited and they're very noisy. Secondly, I have a waffle on the back of my head because I traded souls with Grian. So this is now my life. Thirdly, recently I've actually been enjoying building and I've been doing like details like rope bridges and I built up this massive statue right here which I'm incredibly proud of. I I've been loving every second of it and that in of itself is very weird. Arguably the weirdest really. I'm the guy that likes and gates and, and T flip flops and, and binary counters. None of this fancy pantsy building stuff. The moon is just big. Is the moon getting bigger or are we just getting smaller? Or is the moon just getting closer? Like have we... Is this some kind of like weird lunar event that happens? You know, moon just comes nearby every now and again, waves at us, says hello, and then goes back to its regular orbit. That seems nice. I welcome our new close lunar neighbor. That was close. I've accidentally become a stunt pilot. This is also weird. And ZF recently invited me to his laboratory to perform some experiments on me, which is weird. And I said yes, which is arguably weirder. There is, however, one thing that isn't weird about this Hermitcraft episode. And that is the new Mumbo Jumbo merchandise. Yeah, that's right. I did it! Shameless self-promotion, no, I'm loving it! These t-shirt designs and merchandise designs are honestly some of the coolest designs that I have ever had on the channel. I absolutely love them. I think they're wicked. Peace, love and plant stuff, sus equals sustainable, all that goodness. It's only available for a limited time, so get it while you can. And now it's time for ZF to probe me. Hello Mumbo, welcome back to the lab! It is very good to see you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do I need to start again? <laughs> this could be a whole second word. <laughs> it's the second word. This <laughs> might be a record for the fastest <laughs> I've ever messed up a sentence in my entire life. No, let's keep going. We'll, we'll, we, can, we, can, we can leave that in. You're going to be doing some. To keep that right. Uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, dude? <laughs> you... You've thrown me off now. now <laughs> I don't even your, know where I am. Crazy words. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be experimenting on you. Um, have you ever been experimented on before? Not, not particularly. No. Uh, this is this is going to be a new experience for me. Does it tickle? Does it hurt? Does it smell? Does it? What does it do? You know exactly what's coming, don't you? You've, they're, they're very strange <laughs> things to ask. Everything will be fine as long as you haven't eaten any solid food for the last 87 hours or so. That's a long time to not have eaten, dude. I, I'm literally a potato. I am solid food. <laughs> what happens if you are solid food? That's a good point. I guess it's fine, right? It cancels out, probably. Right, um, okay. Great. Mumbo, please, you follow me this way. Um, before we go any further, though, there is a little thing on the wall here that I'm going to need you to, to read out loud for me and then sign. I, Mumbo, understand I am in grave danger. Di no, well... Okay, I guess now that I've read it, I do understand that both mentally and physically by <laughs> entering the chamber, but still will enter without any hesitation or visible doubt or asking Zed, really, you want me to sign this? Also, Zed is cool. Signed. <sighs> is this just write your name at the end. It, it's, it's just standard stuff, you know. I don't know. I, that, that, seemed, that seems slightly dangerous. Also, I spelt my name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh, just, just the ink on paper was enough. Right. Okay, so, uh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. So, uh, if you'd like to head up the stairs, there, there's a little chest. You could set your spawn, um, just in case. You know, uh, you can. Uh, oh, you could sleep if you want to. Yeah, as well. I'm, I'm, I'm conking out. <laughs> this is this is me done for the day. Actually, I think we're gonna chill out up here. We, we, we have only just begun, but um, yeah, sure. So, good luck, Mumbo. Should I need luck? Yeah, I feel like I've, I've never needed luck before. I, I feel like science experiments probably shouldn't need luck for the participant. I don't know. Am I wrong in saying that? Oh, gosh. Hello, Mumbo. Wow. You've got all the gear? Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the chamber. I have all the gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. Well, I can see... What is this? What? Is, is there an objective, or am I just? Do I in just? In a moment, in a moment, just just get used to the place, you know, make yourself at home. Got a little bit of this action going. Oh, this is fancy. Okay, okay, got a little bit of yeah. Loving that, loving that. This is a strange selection of blocks. Am I in Green's storage system? We'll begin the tests, I believe. I think you're settled in enough. Right. Okay. Okay. We'll start nice and easy, nice and simple. Mumbo, please, can you, in as much detail as you possibly can. Explain the life cycle of a frog using only ad adjectives. What are what are adjectives? Descriptive words. So if I was to say like tadpole, that's that's a noun. 
Yeah, that's not, that's not allowed. <laughs> All right. Stillness. Is that an adjective? Um, I don't actually know. I think it's more kind of like words ending in ing. Oh. Waiting. Swimming. Jumping. Fantastic. Okay, so that, that was the life cycle of a frog in adjectives, yeah? Yeah, I, I would say so. Yeah. Okay, Waiting I, I, I like jumping. the visualness of it. Yep. Uh, next challenge, please, can you lie down in an unusual place? Oof, I mean, this is this is more difficult than I was expecting it to be. Um, ZF, give me a chance to try. It's kind of difficult to think of something unusual. That's pretty unusual. Come on, ZF. Yeah? In the corner? Well, don't can say you, it like that. Any more unusual? Um, yeah. It's getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lying in the corner wearing a cod's head. That's that's pretty strange. I wasn't expecting that, I must say. Um... Eating a beetroot? <laughs> <laughs> will, will I need so, that beetroot okay. later? <laughs> if I'm just eating an essential tool. Possibly, but cod head, corner, beetroot eating. Yeah, that's pretty unusual. I'll give you that. Okay, you may you may unlay down. So uh, in the in the double chest behind you there, there are some red items. Please, can you find out exactly how many red items there are? I just ate one of them, Zed. Are blocks of copper considered to be red? I mean, they're kind of coppery. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with 24. Final answer. And if if my beetroot counted, then I would say 25. But I ate the beetroot. What's happened to your arms, Zedaf? Your arms have gotten very skinny. And they're very, very... St What's happened to you? What are you doing down there? What was the number? I think it was 25, including the beetroot. But Which is now inside your stomach. Yep, but then there's redstone repeaters here and also rotten flesh. And rotten flesh has some red in it. And redstone repeaters also have red in them. Zedaf, this is difficult. Okay, I'm going to change my answer to 29, maybe... 34. You're not a vocab guy or a numbers guy, really, are you? <laughs> what? That, what? So I got that wrong? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean you, you don't know? I'm do you're doing the experiment on me. I wanted to see how you'd react to my dummy friend here. So you're saying you've got small arms. Have I passed? There is no pass or fail, but I wouldn't say you passed. <laughs> Number next challenge. Prove this pig is a super pig. Which? Ah. Oh. This pig. Oh! <laughs> I was going to say that he's a super pig because he's clearly invisible, but no, there is actually, there is a pig. But that almost proves that he is a super pig because he can transform from being visible to then being invisible and then back to being visible again. Maybe. I mean, I, I would say so. He's, uh, he can take a lot of weight and he is very stationary. He's very stationary, can turn invisible at will and also has good back muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I mean, that does sound like a very super pig, I must say. I mean, you've got 10 seconds to hide from me. 3, 2, 1, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Every time. Every time. What? I see a cod head sticking out. <laughs> I've still got the cod on. No. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Can you see it now? I can see your shoulder now. Uh, no, I can see you. Here? I can see your entire left arm. How can I do this? Remember, I'm going to give you... Remember, there's things in the chain, but I'm going to give you oh, 10 yeah. more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I mean, it's... Shift, man. Shift. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where Mumbo is. No, you turned around on one. You turned around on one. Is he? Oh, is he in, under the pig? No. Oh, I'm not sure. He's hidden. The oh, pig's moving, by the way. Yeah, he's lost all of his superpowers. Definitely passed that challenge. Nailed it. You're yourself and um, resulting yourself now. Right? Oh yeah, no, I'm doing my own experiment on you. This is actually the real experiment. What do you see, Mumbo? What do you see? What do I see? But this isn't the challenge. Um, oh. <laughs> <what do> you... <laughs> <laughs> oh! I thought you meant, like, in general. Okay, okay. Oh, I see a spider. Any kind of spider? Uh, no, actually, I see a dung bit. No, a stag... A stag beetle. The one that has the horn. The, the ones that push the poo around. The, yep, the dung beetle, horn beetle, yep. 
Yeah, the poo, the poo yeah. movers. Poo movers. Okay, you see a poo mover. Intr that is very, very interesting. That tells me a lot about you. Does it? I don't know. If Unfortunately, it does. Mumbo, you have 60 seconds to fill the chamber with as much water as you possibly can go. Whoa, why has it gone dark? 50 seconds remaining. Oh, this doesn't work as well as I thought. Oh, 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 oh. Why does it keep getting dark, Zed? I mean, I think we can all agree I'm doing pretty well here, though. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop waiting! How, how do you feel you did? I feel like I made quite a mess. <laughs> the, uh, the pig has found higher ground. That's another one of his superpowers. Wow, you, <laughs> you're proving this right. Yeah. You're round the track, aren't you? Uh, I would say I did pretty well, actually. I'm quite proud of my performance there. I think I did pretty good. Out of 10? I'd give myself a solid 7.91. Yeah. Solid as well. Not not a not a flaky 7.91. A solid 7.91. Interesting. Interesting. So, uh, well, yeah, you kind of ruined the, a lot of the chamber now for the rest of the, the challenges, haven't you? Don't make it sound like this is, is my fault. You told me to put as much water in as possible. Was I not meant to do this? <laughs> no, no, you did exactly what I'm just saying. I'm just, just stating a fact. The chamber's a bit ruined now, isn't it? I'm going to say something. It's not a blank. And you need to reply, it's a blank. Okay, so for an example, I'll say it's not a shovel, and you might say it's a spoon. It's not a carrot. It's a spear. It's not a feather. It's a spear. <laughs> it's not a feather. It's a tickle brush. It's not a sword. It's a pokey stick. Don't think of <laughs> okay, I'm everything say that a spear. is. <laughs> I can only think of spears now, Zed. It's not a cactus. It's a bunch of spears. No! <laughs> it's not an egg. It is a volatile object. Oh, vol Ooh, big, vol big word there. Yeah. And it was serious. You said it really serious as well. Yeah, don't like eggs very much. Yep. I stand right here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take a picture in 30 seconds, and I would like you to make it the most heroic picture ever. Oh, well, I'm already in a Superman costume, so I've got that covered. Um, that was lucky of you. I should have realised that when I wrote the thing. Oh, oh gosh, that up! 20 seconds to go. It's 20 seconds! This is not good. 10 seconds to go. Oh, oh. Five... <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Oh my two, no! No, my one. boat! You sunk a boat and you you made a friend. That's pretty heroic. Okay, because let me explain. Let me explain. Here we go, Zadaf. Prepare for this. Okay. A captain always goes down with the ship. Ba -ba -da -ba, right? And I was prepared to die. I was prepared to die in that ship. But then I realized there was a newborn on board. So I went to the surface and saved him. This flower is in memory of the parents of his that died. That died. That, this is horribly dark tale. <laughs> and, and that was all said in one photograph. Yep. Yep. What can I say? Fantastic. Mumbo, I think you've, uh, you've, you've taught us a lot today about what exactly goes on inside of your head. And um, let me be the first to say I, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm um, slightly concerned for myself too, actually. You might want to um, see a professional um, right. at some point. Wait, you're not um, a professional? I thought that's what oh, I was no, in. Very, <laughs> very much not, no. How do I get out of here, by the way? Am I... Is this... Do I live here now? Well, yeah, it's, it's something I didn't really think about. Um, yeah. Well, that was interesting. Did I pass? I'm not sure if I passed. How am I meant to know if I passed? One thing that I definitely didn't pass is the English test. <laughs> But I feel like that's partly Zedav's fault. He said words ending in ing. He got it wrong. Adjectives do not end in ing. Those are verbs. The worst part is I have, a, I have an A level in English. All right, that's like that's like a qualification that you get after school, and I still forgot. I hope my English teacher isn't watching this because that was horrendously embarrassing. What am I going to do about these goats? There must be something that I can do about these goats. What can I do with these goats? Can I can I push them or? They're like wedged in here. Oh, what a nightmare. Right, let's take this easy. Okay, they are out. They are out. And now I'm going to push them off the edge. <laughs> they seem angry. Why are they both trying to go in this direction? Why is there so much going on here? Where are you going? What, what are you doing? I honestly have never really interacted with a goat before in Minecraft. Are they attracted to wheat? Do they like wheat? Well, I guess we'll never know because I don't have any. Ah, I actually have loads of wheat. I just had it in cubic form. I got cubic wheat. All right, let's sort out this situation then. Are you going to follow me? Oh, you are. You are. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just come this way. I'm going to drop you into the Volcarpo. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Honestly, I have no idea how, how successful this is going to be. I feel like the, the chances are it's not going to be that successful. But there is a chance that it could be absolutely glorious. Right, come on then. And... No! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Alright, that has worked perfectly. Let's get his mate in there as well. This is good. This is good. And... Excellent news. Now, if I make a payment into this thing... Oh my goodness, I've forgotten about that! Ah, oh, that, that was that was like the right level of chaos, I think. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm pretty sure this isn't doing much to help the lag situation in Botum, but it's an entertaining lag situation, so I'm gonna keep it. But actually, on the topic of Botum, I'm meant to be going to a meeting pretty soon, and there's me faffing about putting goats inside of Volcarbos, which I suspect isn't really typical CEO behaviour. I can't really imagine Jeffrey Bezos launching two billy goats into an erupting volcano of carbohydrates on the weekend, but you never know. Billionaires do billionaire things. Speaking of billionaires, Scar's just arrived. This place is amazing. Like, I, how do you tell, how do you call yourself not a builder anymore? You can't you you can't you can't call yourself not a builder anymore, Mumbo. I'm 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 solidifying that today. Scar, you're making me blush, dude. I can't I can't be taking look because Pearl also said that she liked my statue and and Green's been complimentary and then and now you've come along and been complimentary. Honestly, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start blushing. I'm just I'm gonna I. Dude, dang it! I was trying to, I was trying to spleef you. I was trying to spleef Wait, you. No, you can't. You can't be like good cop, bad cop on me. You can't. You compliment me, say that I'm a good builder, and then suddenly try and kill me in the same sentence. I mean, goodness me. Ah, you know, it's, it's been a while since I've been on the server. My mind is is a wander. Mumbo, I have something for you. It's something I've been meaning to give you for a while. Now, the only thing I need you to do is ride in on your company car to the swagon. Right, I have no idea what Scar is going to bring me or what he's going to do, but he did just try to kill me. That, look at this, my company car was ready. No, oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh gosh, I almost killed Pearl's company car. That would have been a real issue. Right, so I have to make my way to the swagon. Oh man. I, I love that thing. Do you have any idea how old. slow this thing is? It's so painfully <laughs> slow. <laughs> I've been sitting over here for five minutes. I know. I'm oh. sorry. Step on inside here. Okay. This is the official swag and hat shop. It's an old converted power shop called the uh, Electric Pine, and uh, we've just repurposed it to our hat shop. That seems like most of like the modern age hat shops, leather boot shops, wallet shops, belt shops, like there. You've got the right vibe here. You are like absolutely spot on. Are you calling me a hipster? I've been giving all the Bodum members hats, right? It's time for our CEO, our admirable, our powerful CEO to get a hat. Slightly nervous. All right, step up here to the Tesla coil. It's been it's been tried twice, so it's definitely safe. Stand there, right? Okay. okay. Oh man, I I oh, I've been I've been waiting weeks for this mumbo. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Oh. Did it work? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a wing! I'm now aerodynamic! <laughs> it's a spoiler for the for the horse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the back. Look at the license plate on the back. Oh <laughs> Scott! Scott, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Wait, let's see if it improves my cornering speeds. <laughs> that was a pretty sharp turn I just did there. Right, then we're going to have to get this one. Oh my goodness. This is the best You're going to take it to the Nuremberg or whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, get, some, get some sweet... And it also says Bodum on top of the... Uh, on top of the... Sp oh my oh. gosh, that's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I honestly feel like... I feel like... I, I'm, I'm a 17-year-old. I just need to find a car park, right? that I can sit in <laughs> and rev. Well, this might just be the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I think this genuinely belongs in a museum. This is a work of art. <laughs> it is genuinely, it is too good. It is too good. It doesn't deserve to be in Minecraft. This deserves to be on my actual head. That's an idea. If anyone out there is a custom hat designer, please reach out. <laughs> I want one of these in my life. I will wear it on my bike rides. <laughs> I will get extra downforce on my bike rides. I know I've just done a pretty incredible merchandise drop, but I mean, 
I mean, can you imagine? It does seem like it would be quite awkward to ship, though. I mean, like this is not going to fit in many standard size packages, and it would be very difficult to explain at customs. Anyway, I'm getting distracted now. I actually have a boat of meeting to go to. I'm the CEO kind of an important guy so let's get over there and i have a feeling this is going to be hugely productive okay. oh, Where's the meeting hole? In here. oh, oh my goodness oh, how does it work all right well firstly new? has anyone knocked any mine carts off no okay well if you get into your no. mine carts just hop in anyone uh yeah any of them okay right just so you know okay. this, is, this is the first time that i've tested this properly with all all everyone in place so who knows if oh. this? Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay. okay. Oh my God, you scared oh, me! Don't I was like, why is there a Ronald McDonald on the wall? <laughs> this is amazing! That oh, actually works. Oh. It works. Oh, I'm so gonna turn my sounds down. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably advised. Okay, uh, okay. Oh it's meeting time. Mumbo's gone and made the meeting room. Mumbot, whatever it's called. Should you be CEO oh, oh. instead of Mumbo? <laughs> who, who got the response? You wanna know? Yeah, go on. What does it say? Wait, it really just did that to me? And it said it in that drawn out. It didn't say it like that. Surely it wasn't that. No. Wait, oh, it's there. Did I just. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Mumbo, I think you've just built your own replacement. <laughs> and it's so sarcastically replaced me. I've never heard of a firing that is this, that is that sassy. I can't believe it. <laughs> Potato bot. Oh. <laughs> Should we demote Mumbo as CEO? I got the answer already. It oh. says, let's have a round table discussion oh, on this. That's, that's oh. a little bit more, oh, that's a little bit more reasonable. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, You're I'll start. I'll start. I, your machine replaces you. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> I I vote for the machine. This is this is the best thing that's ever happened. Oh, oh. What does it say? Oh, do I, got it, I got it. Oh, oh is it yeah. Scar? What do you think? Oh, that's Scar, what do you think? Well, let me tell you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nice that he's in a suit now. Yep. But on the other hand, this machine looks like a fancy Ronald McDonald. So maybe if we replace Mumbo with this as a CEO, we get like free French fries. It seems that the bot says, uh, I think this has potential to four times our profits. Oh, gosh. Uh, yes. <laughs> French fries going to win. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to yes. slice and dice our potato mumbo friend into <laughs> French fries. is going to be amazing. Well, of course he would say that. He is a potato. So what? what's going Mumbo now? If, 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 if the robot's the CEO, what is Mumbo? I'm good at lots of stuff. Janitor. Oh, it says Scar. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it really wants to know what you think, Scar. <laughs> Scar, are you going to make Make the decision. What's Mumbo's new role? Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh. I got one. Oh, let's hear from Pearl on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really oh, avoiding yeah. the so question. <laughs> this is a CEO that doesn't want to fire the previous CEO. Yeah, it's having misgivings Passing against the table. killing its creator. Oh, I can't believe it yassed me. It <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I couldn't agree more. Uh, this should be oh my gosh! I think you've been. I, I think you've so. been cast out by the machine. Well, I mean, it is pretty fantastic. I guess <laughs> I too would vote for this guy. I mean, he's he does seem to be spitting knowledge. <laughs> if you've really been uh, cast out as CEO, yeah. I have got I have got a little reveal mm -hmm. uh, for our next marketing campaign. Uh, you know how big business they like to um, they like to simplify things down. I propose we simplify to Boatum. No, what are you doing? Why do you hit me? What does Mumbot think to this situation? Mumbot. Oh dear. What? Well, Mumbot. Mumbot has said, I hadn't thought of that. That is great input. He also said, I think this has potential to four times our profits. <laughs> yeah. right, we got another response here. No, I'm not Scar, okay. what do you think? <laughs> Scar, Scar, what do you think as to what's just happened? Well, I think uh, Mumbo will become our new janitor. And uh, Grian has this fantastic um, uh, B <laughs> BT... BTM, it's, it's, it's short for Botum. It's an M. 
Okay. Uh, so, how is that a you? Yeah, to be fair, it's Scar. Oh, I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> Let's just have a quick round of pats on each other's backs. So we <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Round well of applause. Yeah, well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. Business, yeah, business, yeah, business, 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 business. Yeah. 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 Profits, yeah. profits, yeah. profits. Yeah. To anyone who has never watched Hermitcraft before, I apologize. You're probably sat in your house right now just beyond confused as to what on earth you've just watched. And to anyone who has watched Hermitcraft before, you're probably equally confused. This this episode has been... Oh, what on earth?